hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm reacting to reporter community in uganda is requesting to meet the president so guys please stay tuned and enjoy this wonderful video with me president Zane Berge, CNN, the West. <laughs> they do make it an issue uh, they have been making it an issue for uh, many months now Many in the international community are saying that by your signing this bill, you're taking Uganda a step backwards, that you are not protecting the freedoms and the rights and the choices of the Ugandan people. So how do you respond to that? And specifically, uh, President Obama has said he, been, this, he was deeply disappointed by Uganda's move and says that it would complicate U.S.-Uganda relations. I've listened to everything uh, that you've said in the statement. So how would you respond to that? And do, 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 does it worry you? And have you spoken directly to President Obama about this? Well, we have been disappointed for a long time by the conduct of the West, the way you conduct yourselves there. But we just keep quiet. We just see how you do things, how the families, how they are organized. The, all these things, we see them, we keep quiet. We never comment because it's not our country. Maybe you like it. So, uh, since there is now an attempt at social imperialism to, to impose social values of, of one group on our society, then our disappointment is now exacerbated because we, we, are, we are sorry to see that you live the way you live. But we keep quiet about it. Now you say we must also live like us. We, 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 that's why we say no. We, we, we say no. And uh, am I worried? Not at all. We be worried about what? Because the tango needs two people to dance. <laughs> if the West doesn't want to work with us because of homosexuals, then uh, we have enough space here to live by ourselves and do business with other people. Thank you. Yes, Dick, and then we go to Kasserine. There, there is Bayrunga. I want you to Bayrunga. Catherine, you can come for us. When, when will your BBC pronounce your name well, please? I don't know. <laughs> um, your Excellency, you talked about the scientific report that was presented to you by these scientists in front of us. Mm. They didn't say that homosexuality was abnormal. They said there were a, a range of uh, reasons why somebody could be homosexual. There are genetic reasons as well. So you can't dismiss that somebody could be born homosexual. So isn't this just a political bill? No, the report says, first of all, you know that many of our homosexuals are actually mercenaries. They are, they are, they are heterosexual, heterosexual people who just become homosexual just because of money. They are prostitutes. Prostitute. But how do we prove that? Is there no, no, no. Let's first... That is the biggest category here. These are prostitutes. For money, they are normal people. They, they are just recruited because of economic hardship. They go into that. Now, the other smaller category, which I was defending, their conclusion is there is no single example of a purely uh, nature-driven nature homosexual. Yes, there could be some association. Some of those studies showed that they could be some association with the, with the genetics. But the, the people who, who grew up in certain environments are the ones who eventually became homosexual. While the same identical twins, the, the, the children of, of, from the same egg, from the same ovary, same ovum, ovum, what they call monozygotic twins. What we call identical twins in our normal life. You find one is, the other one is not. 
and, and when they, that study they made, they found it was the environment which figured this fellow to go that way. So therefore, they are definite that nature without nature, you cannot get a homosexual. That's what they are saying. Yeah. That nature without nature, you cannot get a homosexual. So why don't we remove this nature? The society removes this nature. Instead of, of the way the Western societies are presenting it, that there are two options. It is like a menu. <laughs> you go to a hotel, you can choose either this or that. You know, our people are, and by the way, those people, the Western people we are talking about, because I pinned them down, I said, you put it, you put your signature on this. They couldn't. I don't want to put names because it was in confidence. One of them, just the other night, before, just the other night, I was on the phone with one of my, my people in the West, my friends in the West. The person said, there is no repeatable scientist who can put his signature to the opinion that nature is the one which causes homosexuality. That's what somebody told me. Guys, this Uganda president was like, he's really explaining about what homosexual is, what gay is. Like, I'm sure he refused to accept it on his country. But they were saying that President John Mohama was not happy about it, but Uganda president, he don't care. He was saying that it's better for him to like homosexual is just like a menu that you can now pick. I want either I want to be I want gay or I want to be with a woman. So that is just a, like he saw it as um, something that is not good, something that is abnormal. Like he cannot allow his his fellow um, people in his country to be able to um, um, start homosexual. Like he he see it as abnormal. Thing. So he don't. He was saying that even if West, like people in US, want to cut them off, he don't care. The rest of that country will accept them. Wow, well, this man is funny. And I love the way he's replying to the reporters. He's he's. This interview is so funny, guys. Please let's continue. <laughs> But it's a matter of choice. Now they are shift. I, I think this is very, very important. You got as usual may really trigger a, a, a very serious uh, movement in the world. Because now, you now know that the natural part is a minority. The majority is the, the nature, the upbringing. You know, I'm not somebody who just follows. Even these MPs, I was going to. If these people had, had said it was nature, I would never have agreed with these, the bishops and all that. That's not my, my issue. Because you remember Jesus was killed by the bishops. <laughs> so so I, I don't listen to, to those groups, bishop, I don't know what. Because God gave me my head, I am mobile with it all the time. I don't follow any of those people. You, you remember who killed Jesus? The Archbishop called, called Kayafa. Kayafa is the one who killed Jesus. So I, I, I don't listen to those, those groups. Yes, if, if, if they go with our core, you should we, we go with them, but we, uh, I, I can't be guided by those groups. So it's now our logic, our logic. And we have taken time, we have studied it, this is our conclusion. Yes, can we have this and then get the lady? Uh, my name is Leila, I correspond for the Chevene Kiswahili family. First question. The gay community in Uganda is requesting to have a meeting with you. Would you give them an ear? The homosexuals in Uganda, they are requesting to have audience with you. <laughs> yeah. 
So they say, no, hold on. <laughs> No, they say their side of the story has not been heard and they would kindly beg to meet you so that you get to hear that side of the story. That's number one. And then number two, for the sake of my audience in Kiswahili, ninge kuomba kutafadhali utueleze kwa Kiswahili ni kwa nini umetia saini mkataba wa leo na nchi za magaribi zimekuwa zikikwa. Homosexual wanawaitaji kwa Kiswahili? Mashoga. Mashoga. Ndiyo, ndivyo wanawaita? Eh, mashoga. Mashoga. Eh. Na moja? Shoga. Moja ni shoga? Singular, shoga, plural, mashoga. Mashoga. Aha, utueleze inji za magaribi zimekuwa zikisema kuwa. Ukitia saini mkataba uwa mashoga, basi uenda uhusiano wenu kakua mgumu. Kuna lipi la kusema kusu ilo pia tamko la Obama. Mesema kuwa Uganda itakuwe kikiuka haki za binadamu. Kuna lipi ya kusema. Asante. Sasa... kuna wacha hiyo niache ndikuwa natangu kwa ambia msemo moja wa wanyankoli lakini labda wacha ni wacha the the relationship with with any country must be based on equal on equal relations and mutual respect we cannot have a relationship based on uh, subservience. That our society is subservient to the other society. That whatever they tell us, we must do. Whether we agree or not. So that's their own choice, it's not ours. For us, we want to work with the West, we have been working with the West, but they cannot, uh, they cannot, uh, force us to do something like this so which is so fundamental fundamental wrong uh, so wow this uganda president like he's very funny and is a big no to uganda like he don't want anything concerning gay or homosexual people in his country he's saying that they cannot force them to do what they don't want so is a big no, like he's not accepting homosexual like in his country. Wow, wow, wow. And he's very funny and I love the way he was answering all the reporters, like when he was asking he was answering them the question, like saying his mind, saying the mind of his his people. He said it's a big no. Nobody can force them on what they don't want in their country. So if you want to cut them off, you can. So other country will also accept them like that wow wow this is this is lovely and i love the way the man was singing with so much sorry the man was talking with so much confidence like really wow he's good he's good he's good like to me all country has their um opinion <laughs> you understand all country has an opinion if your president accept um if your president accept homosexual in your country fine but if not, you have to respect the law that guides your country. So that is it. Even in Nigeria, where I come from, we also uh, we don't accept homosexual there. But some of our country uh, people travel outside the Western world and get married to homosexual who they want because that country accepts it. But in Nigeria, we don't. So you have to respect the law that is guiding your country at any given time. So guys, I, I really want to react to more of this wonderful um, interview. If you have more, I don't know if you can to comment on my comment section so I can be able to react to more of it. And also, like our YouTube channel, share this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and get fashion stuff. Fashion makes sense.